Today I'm going to be reviewing the Spider Holster Spider Light. I'm also going to be comparing it to the older Black Widow system they had before with the Spider Light thin plate that I had with it. Now the just released Spider Light system is a part of their pro line of uh, camera holsters. The Black Widow is more of like their low end budget system. Um, but it's still a great system, it's still very useful, it does exactly the same thing as this new Spider Light does, except it comes in at about uh, $50 cheaper. Now the newly released Spider Light system is a completely metal build. There is no plastic on this thing at all. It feels completely premium. Even this little clip they have on the back here is actually a fully metal plate. There's no plastic at all. It feels nice, very high grade as well. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break on you. It does have a nice bit of weight to it as well. The same could be said about the mounting plate you put at the bottom of your camera. It feels very nice, very premium, no plastic at all fully metal. It does have these nice little rubber feet at the bottom so you don't scratch up the bottom of your camera with this metal plate. It is also, if you didn't notice, Arca Swiss compatible. So you do not need another tripod head to mount on the bottom of the thing. This would be your tripod quick release plate as well. Very nice, all in one, very compact, very slim as you can see. All in all, it is a nice premium build. You're not getting any cheap components here. It's very nice. And you would hope so because it does come in, I think, around $80, $90. I'm not 100% certain that the $80 price tag that I paid is going to be the final production price because I did back them off Kickstarter. I got this through the Kickstarter campaign. I really do love Spider Holster and their camera holster systems. I have been using the Black Widow for about a year now. I personally have gone through neck straps, shoulder straps, hand straps, any kind of strap that I could get for my camera system and none of them worked for me. They all just clunky, got in the way, uncomfortable. It wasn't nice, it wasn't efficient. And I just, I wanted something different. So about a year ago, I looked into a bunch of different options and I found Spider Holster. This is a Spider Holster Black Widow. This is their cheaper lower end model. Almost complete plastic build. You do get this one strip of metal at the bottom and this is just for your little ball joint that connects to it. This is just allowing it not to break off from the plastic. The metal keeps it there even no matter how much weight you have. I believe this can take eight pounds of camera weight, you know, so you get a nice, you know, get a nice bit of room there to work with. Um, the main features that I don't like about this are this plastic little release uh, joint here. It is, it does feel really cheap. It does feel like it would break eventually. Though again, I've had this for a year and I've had no problems with it. Nothing at all. No scares or anything like that. Um, the other thing I really kind of don't like is that you have to put your belt through these little loops here before you put it on. And you know, it just, it gets in the way sometimes. It's not the quickest, easiest thing to do. This did not come with the Black Widow. This is a separate purchase. I think they sell this for 10, 15 bucks. This is a spider light thin plate. And as you can see, oh, my camera's struggling there. This is extremely thin. This adds basically no bulk to your camera at all. And the main purpose of this is you can get that little ball connecting joint there to use the Black Widow, but you also have the option to mount, you know, your own quick release plate to the bottom. So if you do not have an Arca Swiss compatible quick release system, then you can get whatever quick release plate you have and just attach it to the bottom there. Now, just to give you a quick comparison of each holster side by side, as you can see, the new Spider Light is extremely small, much smaller than the Black Widow here, though it is heavier. It is a lot heftier because it is a full metal build here. Uh, again, you can see that the mounting solution, this requires you to loop the belt through here, whereas the new Spider Light, you literally just press it down onto your belt. It is technically still gonna require a belt to use, but I've tried it with no belt, just attaching it to the bottom of my pants and it works perfectly fine, no problem. It's just a little bit more of a hassle because if it's flimsy, this is a really strong, very strong clip here. Like it does not move very easily. So you're, you're gonna need something really sturdy to be able to push it out of the way. So when you're just trying to attach it to a pair of pants that doesn't have any you know belt or any sort of lining at the very top, it's gonna be a bit hard. Your pants are probably gonna mush down and you're gonna have to kind of force it in, but it will work. Though, if you wanna save some extra cash and just get something simple, you're always gonna wear a belt anyway. This is probably a better option for you. So like I said, the Spider Light comes in about $80, $90, depending on what their final retail price is actually gonna be. I'm not sure. I think they're gonna stick with the $80, but don't quote me on that. The Black Widow is gonna come in about $50 and Personally, I do find that a bit extremely high price for what you're getting. It is just completely hard plastic, except the one piece of metal at the very end. It only comes with 
one of these small ball joints. It does not come with a full plate. It's just one of these ball joints by itself that you attach to the bottom of your camera. For what you're getting at $50, it does feel like a bit of a ripoff there, but I've had it for a year now and I've actually completely fallen in love with this little gadget. Like honestly, I've tried everything like I've told you before and neck straps are uncomfortable, shoulder straps kind of suck, hand straps are just kind of useless honestly. So I mean if I had to choose I would definitely spend the money again on Get the Black Widow. But when I heard they were doing a Kickstarter for this new Spider Lite system I definitely wanted to get it because it solved one of the major problems I was having which was always having to have a belt on. I didn't always wear a belt like some of my pants just fit me fine why would I need a belt or they just wouldn't have a belt loop through them so I couldn't really wear a belt with them and if I did the belt would move around and just be uncomfortable. So with this new spider light system with the clip in the back I can just easily attach it to any pants I'm wearing wouldn't have any real problem with that. So that was one of the main reasons why I was willing to spend this extra money to get this newer, higher grade system. The added bonuses of having an all metal build and feeling more premium and high quality is a nice feature and having it a little bit more compact size is nice too, but the Black Widow wasn't really a big behemoth in the first place. It is really already compact and small and it is lighter. So when you do have it all around your waist, you're not really gonna notice that extra weight except you know the weight of your camera clearly. But like I said, I did fall in love with the Black Widow system and I've been recommending it to any camera owner I can talk to because it is so much better than any neck strap or shoulder strap you're ever gonna find out there. So the $90 purchase that I paid because it was $80 with some shipping costs, whatever, I find it to be extremely worth it. I still think it is a bit overpriced. I wish they brought the price down to maybe 65 at the most, but it's the price you pay for convenience. So would I recommend the spider light system to other camera owners out there? Kind of. Um, it's just that price point again it just feels like a really high cost for something so simple I mean it is innovative not many other manufacturers are doing it. I mean there are other variations of this kind of idea out there but I think spider holster is doing it the best and I think they were kind of the originators of it as well <sighs> honestly I still I just can't recommend it to everybody because of the price it is just a bit too pricey I mean if you're really looking for a way out of hand straps and neck straps and shoulder straps then definitely invest in a spider holster system, but maybe stick with the Black Widow. Maybe the Black Widow will be better for you because you can actually, I think you can get it for about $35 off Amazon right now, maybe eBay as well. And if you can find the Black Widow for about $35, then you can hop over to spider holster and get this spider light thin plate for about 10 to 15 bucks. And then you get the best of both worlds. I forgot to mention one of the obvious downsides of having the spider light system. If you do not have an Arca Swiss compatible tripod or any sort of rig system for your camera it's not going to really work the best for you you could still attach a quick release plate to the very bottom of the spider light middle adapter for your camera but i mean it kind of takes away from the entire point of that system it's supposed to be very convenient all in one system so you don't have to switch out the quick release plates you don't have to unscrew anything it's all built into one one of the major downsides however of using the spider light thin plate is as you can see this rubbery sticky piece at the bottom this is to keep it from scratching up your camera but if you go out in the sun a lot as you can see it starts to wear away and start to melt actually and then you just get this gluey crap everywhere all over your bottom of your camera also these two little knobs here these are to keep your camera from twisting when it's attached at the bottom so it can't you know do something like that but these can actually scratch up the bottom of your camera now if you're like me my camera's already scratched up i don't really care but if you have a brand new camera, you're probably gonna get super pissed off when you have this on there and it's scratching at the very bottom of your camera. My only gripe about the new spider light system is that these two screws here, much like the spider light thin plate, uh, these just, I feel like these have the potential to scratch up your camera really, really easily. These are just normal screws. You can take these off. As you can see, they do have, you know, just the normal ridges here at the very front. But this is for, if you have a battery grip, this keeps it from doing that same twist motion. Um, if you have a smaller camera without any battery grip, you have to use these to keep it from twisting and just these don't feel as nice or feel as safe to use at the bottom of your camera. Also, you have that same rubbery sticky crap at the very bottom to keep your camera from getting scratched up. Um, these do feel this, like the same exact material as the spider like thin plate. So eventually I do expect these to wear away and start to melt as I'm just hanging out in the sun with my camera. Also, just as a bonus, I do have the spider light hand strap. They're not really creative with their names. It's a nice little hand strap, nothing big here. It has some plastic parts to connect it to your camera and then you have to use either a quick release plate or maybe one of the spider systems to keep it in place. Uh, it's It feels nice premium, the, the little cloth part of it feels nicely built. 
but again the same issue i've had with the spider life then play it, it it has that rubber crap at the bottom that melts as soon as you get into heat or leave it on too long so that's going to be an issue for you as well it's going to corrode eventually anyway guys that was my review i hope you liked it i hope you found it enjoyable and helpful um i would definitely recommend spider holster systems over any shoulder strap or neck strap out there even like the black rapid i believe it's called definitely pick this over that. Also, I have a review of the Etochrome Wing 3 coming up next week. So if you're interested in seeing that, I would definitely subscribe, check it out. I think that probably released that next Tuesday or so. Anyway, my name is Joshua Joel Munoz. Stay sexy and I'll see you sometime.